So if you're kicking off any kind of motion design project, you usually start in the kind of design phase and then you kind of work towards an animatic where you get in the music, you find the beats, you get buy-in from people and then you go to animation. And that's exactly what I'm working on at the moment with Glide with a new video that we're, we're doing, uh, we're launching next year. Um, and I wanted to show you my process for this because it's probably pretty universal, but there's also a sort of a few workflow enhancements like speeding up uh, the way that I work on an, on an animatic because you shouldn't really be spending time pushing stuff around and organizing stuff in an animatic. It should just be export, run, talk about it rather than like fiddling and making it a natural thing. So I wanted to show you uh, my process here. So here we are in uh, Figma and we get a bunch of frames that are named weirdly or differently. So my first thing is I just do command R and I just rename them all to frame. Um, and then I use a plugin called Super Tidy uh, and Super Tidy has a, a command in there called reorder. If I do that, what will happen is that we then get, if we scroll to the top here, we'll have all of these in order like that. And that's the first step that's needed for me to then name these frames, frame one, frame two, frame three, frame four, et cetera. So I'll then rename them and I'll use current name, space, number. And if we hit rename, we then get all the way down here. So frame 20 is the last and frame one is the first. And this is just natural because it just means that it's alphabetical or numerical and I can then use that however I want. So I'll then hit export and get these into uh, my files. Cool, so we are in After Effects and I'm gonna bring in all of these files. Uh, they're of course all on top of each other at the moment. So the first thing that I need to do is fit them all to comp width. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the script that I was talking about here. And the script I've got at the moment is called Animatic and it just does this. It basically cuts them all to be one second. Um, and then you just go through all of these and you can retime them however you want. So that's my process for doing an animatic it sort of gets you to this stage really, really quickly. Whereas I used to kind of like export different layers with different names in uh, from frame uh, from Figma and then like put them into After Effects and stuff like that. And then finally I'd be at the starting line just to do my animatic, which is a whole load of wasted time. So as always, this script will be on jackmon.com slash tools. I hope you enjoy.